guys, it's Sarah with Grassroots Evolution, and I'm here today to bring you a monthly message for the sign of Gemini for February 2021. Keep in mind, my friends, it's a general message. Take what you feel resonates for you, disregard the rest. Go about your day. I know that no matter what messages do come through, it's still up to you, your active free will, the choices you make, and the steps you take in this world to get whatever fulfillment it is you like to see. And for me, that's personal freedom, personal power, and it lies at the tips of your fingers and at the soles of your feet. So use that active doing power wisely, my friends. For all my subscribers, thank you for being here. I love you, love you, love you. You mean the world to me. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. Thanks for stopping by. If you feel like this resonates and you'd like to see more of it, please subscribe join the journey with me let me encounter your energy more often because I'd love to have you guys along the ride if it resonates as well please give it a thumbs up help it circulate it would be greatly appreciated so before I get started with the cards today I am going to ask spirit to jump in to guide guard bless and protect myself this reading and any of you who had asked for it um, specifically Archangel Michael, Archangel Metatron, and any of your spirit guides who would be here for the highest good of the whole collective, okay? So I'm going to ask, like I said, them to guide, guard, bless, and protect myself this reading and any of you who would ask for it to use me as the clearest channel possible to deliver the messages that are for the most far reaching but only top notch, only for our highest good here. No second rate messages, my friends, right? So I'm going to ask first a message from the Magical Unicorn Oracle. This is by Doreen Virtue. So know that even though this is for February, we're almost at the end of February. It doesn't necessarily mean this is what to expect in February, but this is the message that Spirit needed to bring through for February. So it may be touching on a situation that's already happened, something you're going through, or something that's yet to happen. So just keep an open mind, my friends. Let's see what messages we have from the Magical Unicorn Oracle, please. For the sign of Gemini, please. What messages do you have? For Gemini, you get very soon. What you're asking for will happen soon in a happy way, and that's really wonderful. So if you guys have been working towards a goal, if you guys have been putting your prayers out to spirit, if you guys have been asking friends or family for support or for help, or um, just I heard that could be birthday presents, right? It could be lots of different things, but if there's something that you've been actively seeking, actively going after, it will happen very soon and in a happy way. What I am being guided to say, though, is don't hold so much attach attachment to what this may look like. It may differ a little bit from what you're expecting, but regardless of how it manifests, it's going to be a happy thing, and I think you're going to really enjoy it. So that's actually wonderful. Let's see what other cards we get. Please, Spirit, for the sign of Gemini, February 2021. <laughs> you guys are gifted. Absolutely. You are very intelligent and talented. And for some of you, I feel like you may doubt, doubt that. You may think that, yeah, 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 it's a card, but it's not. See the things that you do wonderfully. See the things that you're talented in and know that those talents, they come with you honestly. They've been things that you've been maybe even carrying down for past lives, many different lifetimes, but they're here now in this earth. These gifts that you possess, they're here now so that you can help spread awareness out into the world and help share these gifts, help shed some light into the rest of the world. So if there is a job opportunity, if there is a specific um, thing that you've wanted to do and it comes with your gifts and it comes with your talents, know that you are being recognized. Absolutely. Spirit sees it. They want you to know again. Don't forget how beautiful you are, how unique you are, and how very, very important you are into this world. And I heard like sacred ecosystem, because without you in the lives of those around you, life would be a little bit different, and I imagine a little less shiny, a little less light. So keep your head up high if you're going through troubled times. Know that um, you are going to receive something. You're going to receive something you've been asking for, and I think it has a lot to do with you know your own talents and your own gifts. Tell me more, please, Spirit. Thank you. You get change. Which we know if we're going to get something that we want. It's going to be change, but it's a happy change. So it says the changes that you're going through are positive. And you see this guy? He looks pretty confident in himself. He looks pretty sure of himself. And he looks like he's in pretty strong physical condition. So know that there's no point I heard worrying about whether or not something is going to manifest or if you're going to receive something. Change is coming. Change is, uh, change is upon us. And I feel like as well it's saying you are going to need to get in touch with yourself, right, for what you're good at, what you know, and 
roll with the punches here. Roll with the change. Know that you are gifted enough to be able to move forward whatever life throws at you, whatever changes or challenges arise. So face it head on. Face it with strength, confidence, and ability, my friends. They want me to show you the bottom of the deck. And it says love from your parents. It says no matter what, your mother and father love you as much as they can. So for a lot of you, whatever change is going through, you may even be um, getting a lot of positive support from your parents. For some of you, um, you may be heard like moving back in with your parents. That's just some of you. Some of you still may even live with your parents. So know that they do love you. They're here to support you. I heard um, for some changes as well, not all of our parents are going to love everything that we do, right? We may choose to have, follow career paths or make changes in our world that they wouldn't necessarily do for us, but that's this whole thing is it's not their life to live, it's yours, right? It's your path to walk. And while they may have chosen a different path, there's where it's saying they're going to love you, they're going to support you as much as they can. So know that if you do get a little bit of resistance, I'm hearing like schools, depending on what school you're picking, if you're getting a little bit of resistance, it's okay. Stay true to you. I feel like that's really important here. Stay true to you. Know that in a lot of cases, especially if you're getting parental resistance it's because they care about you it's because they love you and they want to see what's best for you I heard I've heard some maybe experiencing a little overprotectedness but um, what I felt like on that is don't worry <laughs> tell me more about this love from your parents please I feel like as well like this is a safe place right your parents are your safe place they're the ones that are going to love you unconditionally in this world as well as it does talk about they love you as much as they can so if some of you guys feel like you there's a block or there's something in the way of the parental relationship there may be something that they're going through as well or something that they need to work on that they need to change so give your parents grace just like we would ask them to give to us and we have thankful, which is really, really wonderful. Think about the people and things you feel grateful for, right? She's given her cat a snuggle. She's got a beautiful castle in the background. She's got her unicorn. We're thankful for the ability to roll with the punches here. Because not everybody's very flexible. Some people, when they go through changes and they're rigid they're dragging their heels every single step of the way gemini one thing about being a gemini is we're very very um adaptive we can adapt to change quickly and i think this is going to be needed because um life is going to change for the better for you but being thankful for what you have rather than focusing on what we don't have because we may have been trying to manifest change for a long time but if we get so stuck on what this change is we're not actually living in the present we're living in a falsified future okay so here's where be thankful for what you have now don't stop dreaming don't you dare stop dreaming or thinking about the future that's important but while we're looking towards the future, we still want to be grateful for what's right in front of us and all the things that we have and let your parents know that you love them. That's that's what I hear too, is that let you know let them know you love them. Thank them for supporting you throughout the change. Know that nothing stays the same except for change. Change is constant in this world. So if you feel like you're meant to do something in this world, if you know that you're gifted, some of you may be a really gifted artist. Some of you may be a beautiful singer. You may have wonderful talents for dance. You know, it could be that I'm hearing like you build houses like a pro, right? <laughs> whatever it is, whatever you're gifted at, whatever you're talented at, don't allow your fear or the fear of other people to stop you or to get in your way. Embrace this change, my friends, because it is happening very soon. Now, in terms of spirit's idea of soon, that could be the next six months. That could be the next couple days. It could be a couple years. It really depends on um, how everything falls into alignment. And I feel like as well as how much you follow your, your internal clock and the guidance that spirit gives you. Not so much your clock, your compass. That's what I'm getting. Because if, if we know that we'd like to do something, but we don't actually make those jumps, we're not going to create change. We're just going to get stuck stagnant, hoping that the change comes to us. So be proactive is what I heard in your change. And go after what you want, my friends. So I'm going to bring something from the Archangel Gabriel Oracle. And what would be supporting you right now? Thank you. 
So you get a few. The first is have confidence in your creations, which go hand in hand here with that you are gifted. Trust in the power of God's creativity, which is being manifested through you. So if there's all of a sudden you get this urge to paint, to draw, to write, to cook something, because cooking is creative too. There, some of you, this may even be chef school, okay, is what I'm hearing. But like, if you get the urges to create something, do it. For some of you, maybe a YouTube channel. That's your creative, that's what you can create too. Keep an open mind on what this is. Express your inner truth. Your creative work shines brightest when it reflects your genuine feelings and thoughts. And that's what, you know, um, I'm hearing like, okay, the voice, right? If you ever watch the voice and they talk about, they can't see who's singing, but what do they talk about when they want to push that button and turn around is how that person made them feel. Could they feel the emotion in their voice? Was, were they dancing, right? Did you invoke happiness? Did you invoke sadness? What was it? Expressing your inner truth and allowing that to shine, that's how we connect with people. So especially here with your creations, give it all you got and put your true authenticity into it because that's what's going to make it unique and special and you're gifted for exactly doing that. So continue on that line of doing, my friends. Sensitivity goes kind of hand in here and just here as well. Your sensitive feelings are your muse and inspiration for creativity. Some of you, you know, you may want to write, you may want to draw, you may want to write poetry or sing when you feel sad, when you feel happy. Whatever life is taking you through, whatever challenges, whatever um, hurdles, whatever successes that you have, use this as creative fire to build your portfolio, to push you forward into the places that you need to go to create whatever change it is that you'd like to see. But this is difficult sometimes with our sensitivity. I'm going to go into it because I feel like some people get told they're too sensitive. That's not true. Just because you have a lot of feelings doesn't make you too sensitive because what were you sensitive to? Was somebody making a joke? quote unquote, that when you get upset, well, you're too sensitive. No, you're too much of a jerk, right? It, there's, there's a lot of different things that this could be going for, but opening up to our vulnerable feelings, accepting them and knowing that it's okay to have them. It's okay to be sensitive, that it's actually needed because if we block out our sensitivity, if we pretend that nothing bothers us all the time, then we're living a lie and we're kind of gulping that stuff down you're going to give yourself an ulcer so speak up for your truth as well and not allow someone else and maybe i heard their negativity or their pushback or their blowback to stop you from moving forward into creating what you truly desire and in lots of ways i feel like this is your life that you're wanting to create under it was new power or sorry new power new project but new power as well as what i feel like with this change that is happening because I feel like you're starting to finally see just how gifted you are, how much you have to offer the world. And there may be that once you start creating from the heart and truthfully on who you are and you're allowing, you know, your, your, your perspective, okay, to be shown in a different way. I feel like other people are also going to say, you know what, I felt like that. I really, this speaks to me. This resonated with me. So this is a new power as well, understanding just how important it is for you to be in touch with your feelings and to create it from a place that's not judging the creation. So the new project says like a newborn baby, your actions are growing and your idea into a reality. For some of you, if this is school, this is taking those step forwards to make sure that you've applied to school, that you are getting all your ducks in a row, so to speak, so that when the time comes, you can just go for it. This could be a brand new job. Again, this could be that, you know, you want to take on a new project. So if you're an artist and you like to paint, it's time to consider like painting something new. But whatever the new project is, like it said, a baby, it could be your actions, but whatever you're doing, and this is your doing power, it's creating an opportunity for change. And that's pretty awesome. So the bottom of the deck is vulnerability. Much like sensitivity here, listen to your vulnerable feelings as they contain wisdom and aspiration. And then pray for strength to focus on your priorities no matter what. Focus on you, my friends. Focus on what you can do, what you're being drawn to do, what you're being guided to do, what you can do in this situation. Focus how you feel, how the outside world maybe is making you feel. If there's people around you that are not supportive, 
feel that as well. If there's people that are around you, be supportive. But remembering that with this vulnerability, to be thankful for all the experiences that we have, be thankful for the people in our world, and even if there's some more negative aspects, that we're still thankful for that because we can always put a positive spin on that. Whatever lessons that you've learned throughout it, there was something important there as well. So going hand in hand with sensitivity and vulnerability, this is actually wonderful because as we allow ourselves to feel those sensitive feelings, as we get vulnerable enough to allow ourselves to express those, to express our inner truth, this is where change happens. And if someone else doesn't like what we have to say, well, that's too bad. This is how I feel inside. I can't change that, right? And then walk through the next door of your life with an open heart and a confident mind. So going to bring you a message from the Steampunk Tarot now. And this is for Gemini, please. There's a lot of cards. So let's see what they say. We have the Five of Cups. So this could be um, feeling in lack, feeling unloved, feeling unsupported. It could be also feeling like what we want is not here. But I feel like Spirit already told us with the unicorns that it's coming but this could be the internal vulnerable feelings that even though outwardly it may look like we're so popular everyone loves us deep within us some of us may be unhappy but that's just for some of you you also have the two of cups in here which is about love soulmate connection kind of i water you you water me that together there is an exchange of energy and there's creates this third energy of the oneness, the space in between. So holding power to here, to know that I feel like this is important to know that a healthy relationship will be balanced. There will be an even give and take. So if you find within relationship that you're always giving, 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 and you're not receiving the support that you need from your partner, make sure that you speak up about this. And this could be why we also have this feeling left out, even though there's a two of cups or maybe a relationship, but if we feel like we're giving too much, if we've not been totally truthful within our vulnerability and what's going on, they may also not know. But you have the Knight of Cups here as well. So with the Five of Cups, Two of Cups, and the Knight of Cups, you could have a Virgo, sorry, my gosh, not that. You could have a water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, but for some of you, you could have a Virgo, because I was hearing Virgo when I started shuffling it as well. You could have Virgo in your chart, but it could be a relationship. Um, with this Knight of Cups, all three of these are definitely centered around our heart space, which the vulnerability, the sensitivity, we kind of got that already, and even this love from our parents. There's a lot of love here. For some of you, with this Two of Cups, it might not be a romantic situation. It may be, like again, with a family situation, but this Knight of Cups has to offer and communicate their vulnerable feelings. If we don't go up to another and say, hey, I dig you, I like you, I got feelings for you, they may never know. And if we wait for that person to come forward, they also may be a little bit afraid. So I feel like this is like when we step forward, we put our best foot forward and we get all of us in this cup to offer, the true person, not the watered down version, not what we think other people want us to be, but who we truly are inside. So in the reverse, we have the Knight of Swords. This may be that, yeah, we want to offer love, but we're not going to talk about it. Or we may feel left out because even though we care about someone and we want to offer our heart, this could be us, air signs, could be Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius in a stalemate, in a refusal to talk, a refusal to open up. Could also be, I heard, like, that there's words have been cutting. Words have been maybe not as nice. I heard violent as well. Somebody may be even, because she's holding her sword, a little bit defensive. Um, let's find out more. Seven of Pentacles. That things don't feel ripe yet, right? That the Seven of Pentacles and upright is about picking and choosing and seeing everything that you have been building and waiting for the time for it to be ready. Some of us may feel like it's not time, right? It's, I don't want to share this out into the world. You have the Sun card. You have the Eight of Swords in the reverse. And we have the Six of Swords about moving on. The success here is very, very evident.
some of what I'm feeling about this five of cups is that there may not be everyone that you want to care. So, okay, there may be people you care about who you want them to be happy for you in the changes you're making. But if we put all of our feelings of happiness and security on someone else, then we're bound to let ourselves down, right? Because not everyone's going to agree with everything we do, especially if that love from your parents, if that was ringing true um, and feeling like kind of like a hesitancy to support you or a pushback on this, that you may actually feel like down. Eight of Swords in the reverse also. With the Eight of Swords in the upright, it's about needing to let go of things that have been torturing us. And I think this is just in the reverse as well. It's like not willing to do that is what I heard. And you have the Six of Swords. Some of you may be walking away from a situation with the Five of Cups, Two of Cups, and Knight of Cups that at one point you felt like was everything in the world to you. And now it's like, no, no, there's no point even talking. There's no point even um, looking into how it's going because I just don't care. That's, that's the feeling I'm getting. And I think that when you walk away from something to focus on yourself, this is where you're going to create happiness within your world and what you are happy about. When you are happy, when you're loving yourself, when you're expressing your inner truth and living for yourself, this is when all those good things that are meant for you come. So Spirit's already said very soon. There's absolute success here. You are a gifted, you are a talented person. And I feel like that's really important to remember here. Okay, And what we need to do is release any of the stuff that has told us otherwise. Any of these feelings or the swords, this is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius as well. Um, you do have the Seven of Pentacles, could be an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Ge Gemini. I'm so mixed up right now. Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. But we really need to release some patterns of thinking or thought patterns or even stuff handed down from our family. Some of us as well, to try and protect ourselves, will... Put ourselves down we'll give negative self-talk well it's okay i wasn't going to get it anyway or it's okay wouldn't have amounted to much anyway rather than well you don't know it might have right so let go of these preconceived notions that tell you that success is not here because you are definitely gifted and that i heard like life is more than just romance life has to do with so many different things and while romantic relationship and feeling out in the cold by those that we love really really is crappy in order to um, move forward here i think you really need to get vulnerable with who you are and express your truth not to live for someone else and to release ourselves from these thought patterns and paradigms that have kept us stuck and stagnant and allow ourselves to move on so they want me to actually show you the bottom of the deck which is the nine of cups i'm going to flip it over okay the Nine of Cups is about generosity. I heard reward is about loving, open arms, unconditional love, and abundance. And this is definitely here for you. Once you move on past, I heard guilt, past, um, oh man, the song that's playing in my head right now is a Shine Down song called I'll Follow You. And there's a part that's like, through the shadow of all the guilt. When the other hand was pointed at you, I'll follow you down through the eye of the storm. Don't worry, I'll keep you warm. I'm going to get a little bit more. Thank you. One more card, please, Spirit, as a thank you parting message. You have the Hermit and the Six of Pentacles. So the Six of Pentacles was in the reverse. If you look at this, it's about balance. Balance being restored. And I feel like if there's balance not restored right now, if you feel like within yourself you're a little bit unbalanced, or because this is Pentacles being an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, but being in this earthy realm, that if you're feeling like there's a little bit unbalanced, go inside for a little while. Check it out. This could also be a Virgo, but figure out your inner truth okay figure out what's important to you if there's situations that have been bothering you journal them research them meditate on them 
find the wisdom within you, find the strength within you, because that light is going to guide you home, is what I heard. So, I have one last card from the Wisdom of the Tree Oracle, and they give us three. Shoot. Four. Eastern Cottonwood, which is about spirituality. I'm not sure about this, but Date Palm, Hornbeam, and the U. I'm going to grab you a little bit of a Hornbeam is what I opened up to, so that'll be what I read first. So the horn beam is about strength. So I definitely know or Eastern Cotton would be connection as well. And drive me bonkers. Okay. Connection. So Eastern Cottonwood is about connection. And there is no division between you and all the other beings in the world, whether you consider them to be living creatures or inert things. Learn to connect with them, to appreciate and understand them, and to honor them. I have great wisdom. The rustling of my leaves means I am in continual communication with the Supreme Being. Let me show you how to become as one with the world around you so that everyone can benefit from this blessing. And I feel like this is really important even in getting terms of meditation is the communication and the connection with the divine and with other people as well will help you along this because also I feel like when we share our inner feelings and when we talk to other people, we do realize just how connected we are because we're all going through something and sometimes we think we're the only ones who've ever experienced this sort of thing and then we talk to other people and they're like I've been there too and it relieves something in us because someone else has experienced this sharing our experiences isn't important and what I'm hearing is the personal is political and that doesn't mean that it's a political thing necessarily but it means that my personal experiences and your personal experiences your mothers your fathers your grandmothers your dog not so much your dog right but your friends that there may be certain things that everyone's experienced and maybe at different times in our life on different timelines that everybody could have just a little bit of information to give you and to kind of all connect in one um, unified front. So the horn beam is about strength and it says, I am one of the four strongest trees. I can help you to withstand the pressures of and strains of life so that you grow from experience and become more secure and confident. This is a good time for you to work on new ideas, especially ones relating to personal projects and to cultivate your creative talents. These will lead you to fresh opportunities and renewed enthusiasm will rekindle your passion for life. And we have the date palm. Oh, I'm going to do the you first, which is about regeneration. I can live for many hundreds of years. As my outer trunk gradually dies off, I will grow a new central trunk to supply food to my leaves and branches. I can show you how to regenerate your own life and to gain new strength and resilience. This is a potent time for rebirth in which you can shed parts of your life that no longer serve you and develop new activities and attitudes. It is also a time of stillness and contemplation as you reconnect with your spiritual beliefs. And that's really awesome too because connection here, strength, getting back in touch with their spiritual beliefs. Some of this may be even a spiritually based business for you or what could be um, new may be, you know, you're just sort of getting into your spirituality and learning. And that's good too. Be vulnerable. Talk to other people. This doesn't mean that, you know, your spiritual beliefs are going to be the same as everyone. Nobody has the same exact craft, okay? So not to put yourself in comparison with other people, but more just to open up and express, you know, what you're feeling. And this could definitely be definitely research too. So this one's awesome. Grace. Give yourself a little bit of grace. I bring to you the simple but essential gift of grace. My leaves are simple fronds, yet can be woven into many useful or decorative household items. My fruits, which are sweet and nutritious, hang down in graceful profusion. The date palm is thought to be the world's oldest cultivated food producing plant and it is uh, and is at least 6,000 years old. For the ancient Egyptians, this tree was the home of Nepheus, who was the protector of the dead and greeted new arrivals to the underworld with a tray of dates. It is an important tree for the ancient Greeks who believed that a sacred date palm on the island of Delos witnessed the birth of Artemis and Apollo. According to the Quran, Mary gave birth to Jesus under a date palm. In traditional Chinese medicine, dates tone the blood and affect the lung, liver, and spleen meridians. 
It is time to show that you can remain graceful even in the face of pressure. Teach yourself how to bend with the winds of change and how to adapt to your current situation so that you continue to be flexible yet upright. And so the inverse or the upside down for this, I'm going to give it to you, it says difficulty and troubling situations have conspired to make you forget how sweet and simple life can be. Now you can rise up like a phoenix from the ashes, ready to embark on a new cycle of experience. And this is absolutely gorgeous energy because it's already telling you you need to find your center, you need to find your spiritual truth to be able to experience success and to be able to see that light at whatever end of the tunnel it is that you've been going down to move past all of this stuff and that some of it again may be to be open and vulnerable and talk to other people but to follow your gifts my friends because when you do that the world will change for you so that is what i have for you i love you all and i'll talk to you soon bye guys